so um, attempt number two this is uh, star control 2 uh, and it's it's really one of the hidden gems of gaming uh, now um, some people may may know and recognize it because it was wildly influential and it was one of the best games out in the early 90s um, and in many ways it's still one of the best games probably ever made uh, you guys will eventually see what's going on here but um, I wanted to play through again so I thought I'd do a let's play of it uh, never having done one before so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna jump right in and uh, I'll talk a little bit but not too much uh, just a little bit of an intro here uh, so yeah Thurcon Masters is a mod remake combining the PC and the 3DO versions the console version basically and uh, yeah I, it's really good they come together because the, this now has voices, um, which the original PC port doesn't. And maybe not a lot of people know that, that this was even available. But this part isn't voiced. There were many great battles. Earth and her partners in the Alliance of Free Stars. Against the evil Urquan and its hierarchy of battle thralls. And the Urquan were winning. Meanwhile, on the edge of the known frontier, an amazing discovery was made. Far beneath the surface of an unexplored alien world. A huge underground city. Filled with the technological wonders of an advanced alien race, the Precursors. Who vanished a thousand centuries ago. But, then the main Urquan fleet broke through the Alliance's defensive line. Isolating the planet, stranding the scientists a hundred light years away from Earth. They waited hopefully for a rescue vessel. Which never came. Twenty years have passed. We, the survivors of the research mission, have colonized this world. We continued our investigation of the underground city. And we have discovered its purpose. It is a factory. A factory for building starships! Oh my! But there aren't enough materials to make a complete vessel. We can finish only the skeleton of one starship. But that must be enough. Because you must captain the vessel. And return to Earth. A little bit of fourth wall breaking right there. But that's all right. To travel the great distance, you must push through into hyperspace. Find out what has happened over these many years. Tell Earth of our plight. And if the war with the Urquan still rages, Fight for Earth and the Alliance as well as you can. So here we are. We've arrived back at our home system in our little spaceship here. And as you can see, there's a little bit of a, there's like a galaxy map, and we've got like all the basic planets. Um, this game is it's just it's just phenomenal. So, I'm just going to go through the first little bit here, because there's a, there's, there's a little bit of stuff that happens. Stop by our friendly old planet. What? What's going on? Attention, I interloper. Heed this recorded message. This drone vessel speaks with the voice and authority of Urquan. You are trespassing within Urquan space. This world, Earth, may not be approached for any reason, nor will hostilities against our orbital platform be tolerated. In addition, your ship does not respond to standard hierarchy identification transmissions, and is therefore deemed to be independent. 
Uh oh, is that bad? aim to misbehave. Oh, so he's taken off. Oh, what's going on? So, the Earth in Star Control 2 is encased in a red shield. And it's not important that you guys know what happened in Star Control 1, because Star Control 1 was basically just a combat simulator um, of the different ships that would eventually become races in this, uh, in this game. Um, but I did notice one thing that I need to take care of right away, and that is... Um, we need to, we need to, how do I change that again? Uh, star map, no, that's not the right thing. Uh, game, settings, uh, no, I don't want the cyborg on. Captain, so I am Captain Lou. Um, and then this is the flagship, uh, we're gonna call it the gargoyle, gargoyle. Um, all right, so, We'll get out of here. The settings, they're basically, there's not too much you can uh, really do. So we're going to go back to navigate, and we're going to we're going to check out what's going on with Earth. Um, let's just stop in at our own home, home world. So we're entering our planetary orbit. We're going to scan, and well, um. I've got a couple options here, which will become important later for uh, the resource game, because this game really does blend several types of games together, um, very successfully too. However, I, I can't actually go down to Earth because of the shield, so I'm gonna I'm gonna exit this menu, and we're gonna turn our ship slowly. Oh, I can't wait till we can upgrade that. We're gonna go to the space station. Attention, unidentified space vessel. I am Starbase Commander Hayes of the Slave Planet Earth. Our hyperwave broadcast is extremely weak. Situation critical. Energy cores exhausted. Scanners and deep radar are non-functional. We cannot identify your vessel. Are you the scheduled hierarchy resupply ship? Repeat. Are you the resupply vessel? Uh, oh. Ooh. Uh, Slave Planet, Hierarchy Resupply Vessel, what's going on here? Look, I don't know who you are or why you're here, but right now the only thing I'm worried about is saving the lives of 1,900 men and women aboard this starbase, and right now you're our only hope. I can't keep the transmitter on too much longer. We need the power for heat and air, so if you don't have any radioactives on board your vessel, please get some and bring them back here before it's too late. Um... Well, where can we find the radioactive elements you need? The way to get radioactives in this system would be to land on Mercury and scour the surface for deposits of radioactive elements. But be careful. Mercury is a pretty inhospitable place. Watch out for earthquakes and those high temperature areas. Well, I guess um, we'll leave now and find those elements you require. Thanks. I'll make sure to mention this the next time I talk with our masters. I'm sure they will reward you. Hmm, that sounded ominous. Which it is. There's a reason why the modders renamed the game the Urquan Masters. Turn our ship and let's head let's head down to Mercury. Let's see what's up. Mercury, how you doing? All hot. Little known fact, Mercury is the only planet in the system that turns the other way. So we're going to scan it. It also turns really slowly. Alright, so every time you come to a planet, you can do a number of different types of scans. And I just did the whole shebang. But I could have just actually done a mineral scan because I know there's not going to be any energy signatures here and biological signatures. Actually, there might have been an energy signature. An energy signature is generally like there's something to actually do on the planet in terms of the quest and story in the game. Mineral signatures, they're more, they're more about 
uh, just collecting resources to upgrade your ship or to to meet certain quest goals or other things. Uh, depending on the type of mineral, as you will notice, uh, there are different colors. Oh, it gives you different amounts of uh, mineral wealth. These radioactives, these orange ones, are the, the, the really good ones. Uh, the red ones are not that important. Uh, I think it can actually... Oh, that's 10 minutes, guys. That's, that's actually the end of the first Let's Play. So, I am going to... Whoa, whoa, stop making that noise. What? No. Bad. Bad. Okay, that's the end of the first Let's Play. I'm going to, uh... You know what, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to carry on for a couple seconds. I'm going to dispatch and uh, get these things. So we're going to, we're just going to launch our little lander here. Shades of Mass Effect, anyone? We're going to go here and we're going to pick up a couple of these little things. Whoa, no, that's bad. Uh, but you know what? I'm already full, so let's get out of here. How do I get out? Oh, uh, wait, how? Oh, escape. There we go. It's been a little while. So now I've got, I've got some minerals on my ship. So we're gonna, we're gonna see manifest cargo. You can see that I picked up some uh, base metals and some radioactives. I don't have any exotic minerals, but this, these are worth much more than, uh, than the base metals. So I'm going to pick up the rest of the materials on here, and I'm going to pick up in part two. Thanks for tuning in, guys.